In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing a quadratic function to find its vertex and sketch its graph. We're given the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 7. And for part a, we're asked to write the equation in the form f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, then to give its vertex. And once we have it in that form, we'll be able to identify the h and the k that make up the vertex. And to get started, I just rewrote the quadratic function we're given. And the first thing I notice is that the beginning of the new format is going to have an a factored out and then some constant k added to the end. So I'm gonna start by looking at the first two terms and I see that they have a common two that I can factor out leaving me with an x squared minus a 4x inside the parentheses. And then I'm going to leave that plus 7 on the outside. And then I note that this form has an x minus h squared. So inside our parentheses, I'm going to need to complete the square to turn it into a perfect square. So to complete the square, I should take the middle coefficient here, minus 4, take half of that, which would be 2, square it, which would be a plus four, and that's what I would like to add to make this a perfect square inside the parentheses. But of course, I can't just add four without having to correct for that someplace. And since this two has been factored on the outside, I can see that I actually just added eight because the two would be multiplied by the four to give me a plus eight. And so to correct for that outside of the parentheses, I'm going to put a minus 8. So again, inside the parentheses, I added 4. Distributing the 2, though, means I actually added 8. I correct by subtracting 8 on the outside. And from here, what's inside the parentheses is now going to be a perfect square. x squared minus 4x plus 4 will factor as an x minus 2 quantity squared. That is giving us the form that we're looking for. And now outside the parentheses, I've got a plus seven and a minus eight. So that simplifies to a minus one. So by completing that square, we now have the a times x minus h squared plus k format. So that's the first part of a. For the second part, we're also supposed to indicate the vertex. And we know that the standard form here has an x minus h. So in this example, since the format is minus h, our h is just going to be 2, and our k, that is the constant being added on the outside, is a minus 1. So our vertex is 2 minus 1. At this point, we have the equation, we have the vertex, so we can move on to part b. Just rewriting that formula, we're asked to graph the function, but to do so by graphing five points on the graph. The vertex, two to the left, and two to the right. So I will make my table of x and y values. I have the vertex, two, negative one, so I will indicate that. Since I need two points to the left of that, to the left of two, I would have one and zero as easy points to plug in. To the right of 2, I could use 3 and 4, again, as easy points to plug in. So I will start with the top value, 0. If I replace x in our formula with 0, we could simplify inside the parentheses. This would just be a minus 2. Then we would have to move to the exponent. Minus 2 squared would be 4. And then multiplication, 2 times 4 is 8. Combining those terms, we would have 7. So we have the point 0, 7. I'll go ahead and plot that on our graph. And then we'll move to the next x value, which is 1. So now we're replacing the x with a 1. Inside the parentheses, we now have 1 minus 2, which is negative 1 squared. Moving to exponents, negative 1 squared is a positive 1. Multiplication, 2 times 1 is 2, and then 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have our next coordinate, 1, 1. We already have the vertex, which is 2 
minus 1. So I'll move to substituting the 3 in for x. Inside the parentheses, we now have 3 minus 2, which is 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. So our next point is 3, 1. Lastly, substituting the 4, we would have inside the parentheses 4 minus 2, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And then 8 minus 1 is 7. So 4, 7 is my last point. So with those five coordinates, we can see the shape of the graph as such.